Okay, so here is what I promise. I'm gonna talk about um, powers. So powers um, are normal. The world has perverted a lot of things. They have super powers. But what is the root word is power. So in the Bible, it always talks about power. There's been many people in the Bible with power. Example, Moses. Moses had the powers of hydrokinesis and aerokinesis. These are actual abilities. There's a guy right here on YouTube. His name is Jesus the Sun. So spell Jesus the Sun. This guy, or just look up aerokinesis. Just look up aerokinesis and hydrokinesis. Look up aerokinesis and hydrokinesis, and you'll see that there are human beings, as we speak, walking the earth, just doing this shit. I practice all the time. My my aerokinesis is pretty good, and I'm pretty good with the hydrokinesis. That's, you know, that's something that we all should have. But the thing is that some people, they don't have that third eye opening, and they're, like, you know, too low vibrational to have powers like that. But Moses had hydrokinesis because that's how he was able to split the water, and he also had aerokinesis because... The thing is, controlling the wind is very important. The wind, it carries the waves of the water, the current of the water. The wind, it can pick up fire. So if there's a forest fire, the wind can actually make that fire get bigger because it picks up the embers. And the wind can actually control the sun. The wind controls where it rains and where it doesn't, and even controls the weather. So the clouds don't move on their own. The wind is what moves the clouds. You understand what I'm saying? So... Aerokinesis and hydrokinesis, again, Moses had those abilities. Not only Moses, but Jesus as well. Um, Jesus rebuked the wind. That's aerokinesis, to be able to command the wind. So, also, I just want to say that the wind is an entity. It is a spirit. It is a being. When you're controlling it, you're not really controlling it, but more like communicating with it. You understand what I'm saying? Saying, hey, when I want to communicate with you to do this, to do that. Everybody doesn't have that ability, but targeted individuals, you do have that ability, but you have to believe it, okay? And definitely um, Google these things that I'm telling you. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus also had hydrokinesis as well. Why did he have hydrokinesis? Because he could walk on water. You can't walk on water unless you can control the water element, okay? So again, these are things that were actually in the Bible. People people in the Bible all over have had these powers. But in today's uh, day and age, with low vibrational beings that gang stalk you, molest children, do all this injustice, of course they don't have powers because that's what they're going to try to brainwash you. Oh, what makes you so special that you would have powers? Well, for one, I'm not a goddamn gang stalker. That's for sure. And I'm not a fucking pagan. I believe in the one true God and I believe in the powers that he said that we have within us. And because I do, that's why I got those powers, bitch. And I train every day in order to get stronger and stronger and you should too next every part of the bible that talks about powers is heavily censored aka the old sea scrolls you need to look at read or listen to um the book of enoch um it's a three hour long book on youtube i listened to the whole thing it's a wild ass book bro you feel me they he describes the angels as, as like beings spiritual heavenly beings Almost like alien type like beings, you know what I mean? And he describes other dimensions. He was flying and shit. This nigga was fucking awesome, bro. But the thing is, any part of the Bible that kind of talk about powers, they take that out because they don't want you to know what you're capable of. They teach you this slave bullshit mentality. Uh, you have to get on your knees and pray. If somebody hits you, you turn the other cheek. Number one. When them motherfuckers was selling stuff inside of the temple, Jesus was flipping fucking tables. That's contrary to turning the other cheek. You understand what I'm saying? And when the motherfucking Pharisees used to talk to Jesus, Jesus was like, y'all some hypocrites. Y'all some blood-sucking vipers, snakes. Like, Jesus was cussing these motherfuckers out. You know what I'm saying? That's contrary to what these motherfuckers be teaching us. They, they, they say that when you're a Christian... When you believe in God, you got to be accepting to be a motherfucking sacrifice. And you got to get beat up and all shit. No, you are going to get beat up and, and all that kind of stuff. But bitch, you ain't no sacrifice and you ain't got to be taking no abuse. Too much of anything is bad. These bitches is too turned up. They too evil, too violent. We are too peaceful, too passive, too docile. You need to be balanced. We could be peaceful in a way, in a sense that we don't have to be out here physically doing things to people, punching and kicking and all this kind of stuff. You understand? Jesus spoke about this. I want to let you know, 
as a targeted individual, these people literally spy on your phone. On your camera, front and back camera, they be watching you all day and night. And even on your motherfucking microphone, no bitches be listening to everything you say. So ain't no privacy. Ain't no privacy. You wanna wonder like how I be doing shit, taking a shit in the bathroom. These bitches know what fucking color my tissue is, my panel was, bitch, everything. Because they be watching you. When you be on the toilet taking a shit, they be watching you. So the thing is, in the Bible, it spoke about this. The Bible spoke about when you are a new age prophet, you will never have to be on a street corner yelling. The Bible says that. The old prophets had to be on a corner yelling like a crazy mad person. Thank God to us, we're targeted individuals. The FBI, CIA, NSA, and all these crazy ass perps, they be listening on your phone automatically. So you don't even got to be motherfucking on a street corner or anywhere holding up no sign. These bitches can hear you loud and fucking clear. You understand what I'm saying? I just want to get that out the gate. Next, John 15, 20. It says, remember the word that I said to you. A slave is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. What does that mean? Jesus was gang stalked too, baby. I mean, Jesus was gang stalked one on one. They was gang stalking people, trying to stone a woman for being a hoe when these bitches is hoes themselves. And Jesus said, no, I'm not going to do that. So what did they do? They was mad at Jesus. Why you, why you ain't like us? Why you ain't money hungry like us? Why you ain't no motherfucker that be out here doing disgusting stuff like us? Why are you teaching these people about the freedom of God? We need to kill this nigga because he's fucking up our hustle. And they murdered him for no reason. Jesus was gang stalked. When you gang stalked, you can't trust nobody. You can't trust your mama, your daddy, your sister, your cousin. And you can't have no friends. Peter, his own best friend and motherfucking Judas, accepted money to betray him. And then Judas came up and betrayed him with a kiss. You understand what I'm saying? Jesus was a targeted individual himself. But what did he do? He fought back with power. He came back. And he defeated these motherfuckers. Yeah, y'all murdered me, but bitch, I'm back. And, and guess what? He was teaching. These motherfuckers could have probably, we could have heard a story about them killing him, but they, they left them alone. Because, bitch, we can't even believe it. We murdered your ass and you're still here. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay? So, the thing is, we're it's normal for this to happen to us. Jesus ain't greater than us. We ain't greater than Jesus. Jesus was the master. We're the slaves. Jesus was gang stalked his fucking self. So we gang stalked too. Jesus has powers his fucking self. So we should have powers too. Okay? Jesus spoke and shit happened. We should have that same ability. Why don't we have the ability? Because we don't believe. Your mind is your prison. These people know that. That's why you have TV. Let me tell you something about dreams. Have you ever had superpowers in your dreams? The answer is no. When you have a dream about falling down a fucking building or some shit, why can't you fly? Because your mind hasn't been programmed that you don't know how to fly. But bitch, we do know how to. And 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 of course, this sounds crazy. But let me tell you something. In a world full of insane, the same seem insane. And bitch, I'm telling you, I'm saying the same. <laughs> okay. 2 Timothy 3.12 Indeed, all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. So that's automatic. If you are living godly, if you are doing what's right, the world will hate you. Why do these motherfuckers get along with each other? Because they of the world. God said you must be in the world, but you must not be of the world. We live here, but we don't got to be like all these motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? That's our job. We ain't supposed to get along with you. We ain't supposed to be in your clique. It's just how it is. You understand what I'm saying? Every single person, if any pastor, any person you know who say they with God and they a perp, they talking the talk and they ain't walking the walk. And that's just what it is, period. Okay? Let me tell you a parable about the three seeds Jesus said. There's a farmer who sold some seeds. He sold some seeds on a on a concrete land. He sold some seeds on a like a shallow land. Then he sold some seeds on good dirt. The ones that was in the shallow, the sun fried the seeds and they never even went anywhere. The ones in the, I mean, the ones on the concrete, the ones in the shallow dirt, they got a little bit, but they never got any good roots because they was, the seed didn't go too far. And because of that reason, when the sun scorched them, they kind of died out. Then there was the good seed that produced 10, 20, 30, even 100 times the crop. We are the seed. The seeds in the concrete is the people who, who just are hypocrites, you know? God planted them, but they didn't have a good foundation. So therefore, when you know what I mean? 
when any persecution came, boom, instantly. Even not even persecution. Just offer them some money for something and boom, they instantly gonna do whatever it takes. Then there's the one that's in the shallow ground. You had some roots. Your mama may have went to church with you. You may have known the Bible. You have some had somewhat of a conscience, but after being persecuted for so long, they offered you some money. They offered you a promotion and you just looked the other way. You couldn't stand the, the, the persecution. Then there's the one that fell on the good soil. Your roots went deep, 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 deep. When there was a drought, you was deep in, deep, deep, and your roots went out to the water, to the river. So anytime it's hot, scorching weather, your tree leaves look gorgeous. Your fruit is big and robust. You understand what I'm saying? Because you were the good seed. And not only were you the good seed, but all those fruits on your tree produce more seeds and the harvest is big. God says, the workers are few, but the harvest is plentiful. Who are the workers? You and I, the targeted individuals, we are the workers. The harvest is the people that we bring along to Jesus Christ's kingdom. These targeted individuals, they ain't going to heaven because it's very specific who goes to heaven and hell. These people keep telling the same bullshit lie. You know, you, you just get to you know, do all this type of shit and you just die and then God gonna be like, yeah, this God ain't no push pushover. They think God is a goddamn piece of tissue you can wipe your ass with and throw it away and then you think, you know, it's good again. No. God is God. God named deserves to be feared. God deserves to be revered and in awe. But these people have shitted on God's name so much that God's name don't even hold nothing. You tell them God said that if you don't stop this, I'm going to bring a war in your country. They laugh at you. And when the war comes, they call you a voodoo lady. Hmm? Anyways, Mark, 20, no, Mark 3, verse 20. The scribes call Jesus Beelzebul, a demon that can drive about demons. So, this is the thing. Like I said, a kingdom amongst itself, a kingdom divided amongst itself cannot stand. These people are the demons. They are fighting with you for a reason. They don't fight with each other. Motherfuckers in the same team don't fight each other. Motherfuckers fight the opposition. If these motherfuckers is evil, who are you? You are the good. If you're fighting for the good, you know what I mean? Scribes call Jesus Beelzebul, which is the prince of the demons. If they out here calling Jesus fucking Christ who died for our fucking sins and rose on the third day and is seated at the fucking right hand of God right now, a goddamn prince of the demons, they gonna call you a witch, a voodoo lady, and all that type of shit. And if they ain't calling you that type of shit, you ain't doing something right. If the world love you, that mean you in the world. Now, that mean you of the world. That mean you one of them. You understand? Matthew 10, 25. Students are to be like their teacher and slaves are to be like their master. And since the master and of the household had been called the prince of demons, Beelzebul, the members of my household will be called even worse names. So like I said, you're supposed to be called bad names. You understand what I'm saying? They're supposed, they're supposed to be calling you these things. If they ain't calling you these things, that means you don't have no power, baby. You need to you need to upgrade. I need to upgrade ya. All right now. Now let me go ahead and tell you some some people who had um powers. Ezekiel, Jesus, Jeremiah, Elisha, um, Elisha, who else? Elijah, Moses. Moses had powers too. Okay. Hosea had powers too. There was a lot. And they all did the same thing. They prophesied. It tells you what they did. Read the Bible. It's the same reoccurring thing. And this is just 2,000 years later. God do this all the time. This is a page in the Bible. Read the Bible and see. I'm telling you the truth. God has a people that he's ordained over a land. The people get so rich that they forget who the fuck God is. And they start making their own gods. And not only that, they start fucking persecuting the people who believe in God. And there's always one righteous person in the family. One righteous person in the whole land. There's always a lot somewhere. You feel me? There's always a motherfucking Noah somewhere. You feel me? There's always an Abraham somewhere. There's always somebody that God chooses to say, you know what? I know everybody out here rotting. I'm finna go ahead and I'm gonna just put you aside. You feel me? That's how that go. Now, I just want to say... The prophet's jobs were to bring curses. Like I said, they always were in a land where things were fucked up. God gave some people some land. God said, y'all gotta worship me. And these people said, fuck you, God. 
We, you know what I mean? We got technology, bitch. We got internet, bitch. We got electricity, bitch. Our God is our money. We don't need you, God. We don't need your ass no more with all these ancient ass motherfucking scrolls shit. So what they do? They bring curses. That's a part of who God is. Curses is our right. We have the right to put curses on people. The curses are our powers. Curses are manifestations. Manifestations are prophesying over people and towns. Any person can't do it. You got to be a targeted individual. You got to be a, a chosen one. There's a reason why they call you that. You ain't no fucking starseed. If you're chosen, you're a prophet. If you're a prophet, you are a god. Don't take my word for it. Just Google it. The Bible says we are gods. David said it in Psalms. Jesus said it himself. Why are we gods? Because God lives in us. You understand what I'm saying? If God lives in us, then we're gods too. But we're not capital G gods, but we're lower keys G gods. And if you're God, you have access to his powers. That's how these prophets and Jesus and everybody else was able to do these miracles. You call them miracles. They are manifestations of God himself. You understand what I'm saying? I just want to say all churches and mega churches also, um, they teach false doctrine. Like I said, none of them teach anything that I'm saying here. So the fact that they don't teach you that is because they are here to brainwash you. They are here to make you be masters. You know, they only teach a certain word. Every single church that you go to, they teach a certain doctrine in order to indoctrinate you to staying in line with the slave mentality. If you want to be free, you have to free yourself. Then there's Ezekiel. Ezekiel put seven, he put curses on seven cities, bro. You understand what I'm saying? God been out here putting curses on motherfuckers for a long time. You feel me? So I just want to put that. Why did he do that? Back in the day, people were sacrificing their kids. They were practicing motherfucking pagan, paganism. And them bitches was extremely violent, killing anybody. Sound familiar? Sound familiar? They doing that right now in America and around the world. People are sacrificing their kids so they can get a promotion at their job so they can get rich. They practice in paganism and they're extremely violent. What do you call people who follow you around and harass you for no reason other than the fact that you don't have their same ideology? Is that not violent? They were doing that in the biblical days and God put curses on these lands. Ezekiel prophesied that the Romans were going to take over and the Romans did. To the point that when Jesus was born, the Romans was there too. And Jesus was the one who in the Roman Empire himself. Now, like I said, they bring curses. This is a curse on America and all the countries. This is what the Bible says. If you want to read it yourself, you read it yourself. Deuteronomy 28, 15. It says, curse of disobedience. Fruit of the womb cursed. Infertility. The crops of the land and the calves of your herd and the lambs of your flock. So what does that mean? God curses your meat. There's, I can't even say it because uh, I can't even say it. But you need to Google about the meat in America and the world right now. We're in a crisis. Okay. The Lord will play you with disease until you are destroyed and come to ruin because of your evil. He will destroy your land. Okay. We just came out of a whole pandemic. Okay. Not only that, we're in a drought. Scorching heat. And drought. Scorching heat and drought is actually one of the curses, okay? And it says, God will turn the rain over your country into powder. There's a such thing as fucking cloud seeding. Do you know that? In America, in other countries, they have this DARPA technology where if your land is not doing what it's supposed to do, you go around in this fucking military plane and you put some motherfucking things in there and it gives your clouds rain. But for some reason, there's no rain. And they try to lie, you know, and say that, oh, this is purpose and da, 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 But it's not purpose. Because let me tell you something. I stay in Florida. Florida has a lot of military bases. And a lot of people are here using those DARPA machines. So much so that the weather been crazy. The weather ain't been crazy by mistake. The weather has been crazy because these people is experiencing a chain reaction. Okay? <clears throat> when you have a person who is depressed, instead of dealing with the, the issue... The world is fucked up. The world is fucked up. So when you get depressed, what do you do? You either use drugs. You can use prescription drugs or use, you know, marijuana or crack, cocaine or whatever you want to do. Because you're trying to numb the pain. Instead of dealing with the pain and curing the pain, you just want to numb the pain. And it may numb the pain 
for a little bit. But eventually, you're going to have to keep upping the ante, upping the ante, upping the ante, and giving higher, 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 higher dose to the point when nothing really works anymore. And that's what happened to the earth. They have been trying to play God for so long. You know, we don't need to pray to fucking this God for fucking rain, bitch. We got technology. We could fucking do cloud seeding. And they've been doing that to the clouds. And they had to do more and more and more. And now it just don't work fucking anymore. And now we're in a drought. And now it's motherfucking cyclone, bomb cyclone. You know what cyclone is? Cyclone is a hurricane that spins opposite direction. A hurricane spins counterclockwise, cyclone spin clockwise. We've been having cyclones in motherfucking Florida. Look up the fucking weather in Florida. We've been having fucking hurricane weather in goddamn March. It's fucking spring. If I look out the window right now, all the goddamn trees and the grass is dead in fucking Florida. Home of the palm trees. Home of the green fucking grass. No other person could do that but God. They try to paint this picture. Conspiracy. Oh, the government is trying to do this. The government ain't trying to do shit. Trust me. The government will be happy to have all the fruit and all this type of shit. But the thing is, it's God. That's why I put that out there, okay? Um, it will come down from the skies until you are destroyed. So again, that's God saying, this is a curse that happened to countries who disobey me. War is what's going to happen. What are we in now? Okay. The Lord will cause you to be defeated by your enemy. Then it says... This is 45 from Deuteronomy. Because you did not obey the Lord your God and observe the commands and decrees he gave to you, they will be a sign and a wonder to you and your descendants forever. This is solid. All these things that I just named to you, they are signs that your fucking land is cursed. Huh? You understand me? The Bible said that in Deuteronomy. I will give you the thing again. Deuteronomy 28.15. Go to Deuteronomy 28.45. You understand what I'm saying? Hurricane season don't start till motherfucking June. We in goddamn March. We in the fucking drought. Bitch, spring started yesterday, bitch. March 28th was the first day of spring. Spring showers, May flowers. Bitch, it ain't been raining. It ain't been raining. We in a crisis. I ain't scared because this is curses to these people. These people been gang stalking me. They thought they were securing their technology and the technology is feeling so bad. You don't even know how bad. Okay. Now I just want to say this. Again, a lot of targeted individuals. You have the power that I'm telling you of that Jesus and all these people have. Stop being weak. And waiting for a hero because you're the hero. God has given you a spirit of power and of a sound mind. Inside of you, God lives in you. We are God's temples. God has unmeasurable powers. So that means we should have unmeasurable powers too. Why do we not have them? Because we don't believe. I'm not trying to say be out here doing all types of crazy stuff. But what I'm trying to say is train. Look on YouTube for aerokinesis, hydrokinesis, geokinesis, telekinesis. Look at these videos. You'll see people in real life doing shit. It's so unbelievable that motherfuckers be under the comments talking some always oh, fake. That's trolls on there. The same way they be trolling us talking about some we schizophrenic. The same way they go on to people who have real life powers and say that shit fake. There's people out here with powers, bro. You feel me? But but the world don't want you to know that. What beats these fucking demons? Power. They got witchcraft. They got voodoo. Power can beat that. Let me compare to you. Voodoo and witchcraft is a stepped on, stepped on crack. Power is a big fucking brick of goddamn coke. You understand what I'm saying? It don't even compare at all. So here's what I'm going to tell you as uh, targeted individuals. Number one, um, look within. You need to start prophesying against these people. Don't give up. You need to start fasting. Um, write down prophecies that you feel like should happen to these people. You see what's going on in your town. You know your town better than I do. I don't know your town. I know Florida. And I definitely put a big ass curse on Florida. I put a, Look at my video from down, down, way, way back when. You feel me? I'm confident. I said that every year they have a, a, a fucking corrupt governor. They're going to have the worst hurricane season. And all of a sudden, we have a hurricane patterns in motherfucking March. Bitch, I don't want to see what June going to hold. Miss June, 
God gonna be ripping the goddamn roof off a building. Fly, cars gonna be flying in the goddamn ocean. You understand what I'm saying? All right. And another thing, don't be afraid. Being afraid is low vibrational. These people, they all are doing this because they're afraid. They're afraid to be outcasted. They're afraid to not get a promotion. They're afraid to lose their house, their car, their kids, their life, their comfortability. You have to not be afraid. You have to be brave. You have to stand firm in your beliefs. You understand what I'm saying? Even if they take everything away from you, even if they take everything away from you, it's better to be poor and have a little than to have the whole world and to be a motherfucking pagan and God throw your ass in hell. Okay? All prophets have gone through the same thing that we're going through. This shit is fucking normal, bro. It's normal. Jesus went through it. Jesus, goddamn Christ. So we ain't exempt. You understand what I'm saying? Now, um, there's different types of powers. I mean, I, 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 I do aerokinesis and hydrokinesis. Um, some people, they do it on camera, but I, I'm very camera shy. Um, but I would say what you can do is go online and just look at the people and you can see how you can practice, you know? Um, the wind is very important. The wind is very important. Who has power of the wind? You have power of everything. The world has done a lot of things, but they can't control the wind. They can't. So therefore, controlling the wind is very important. Um, I will say, you know, target individuals, stop, stop being so whiny. I understand you're being targeted, but what have you learned? You, you, we already know all this shit about the government and all this stuff, but we need to start looking within and learning about ourselves, that we have powers, that there's a goddamn ether element. The ether element is in all four elements. They teach you that there's four elements, there's five. Earth, wind, earth, air, fire, and water, and then there's ether. Ether is the element in all of those things. Ether is the God element. You need to... Get to know yourself. You need to get to know the spirit. Your third eye needs to be opened in order for that spirit to guide you. The Bible said that the spirit is the counselor. He's the one who trains you and counsels you and tells you about things yet to come. That's what he does for me. And he should be doing the same thing to you. The Holy Spirit has told me that we are the last targeted individuals. We are the descendants of the elect. Read who the Bible is. The elect is the 144,000. They have the elite. That's the bootleg elect. The elect are the ones that are going to heaven. The elect are the direct descendants of the tribes of Israel. The elect are our great-great-grandchildren. They will have powers. The Bible says that. The elect will have powers and they'll be able to defend these people in the last days. And if it wasn't for these elect children being born, it would have been worse than it is. But thank God our children are the fucking elect. We must have these powers. We must learn about these powers because if we don't, there is no elect. Without the elect, there is no Jesus. I want Jesus to come back. I want to see the new earth. I want to go to heaven. I want all these things. But all these can't come to pass unless these prophecies come true. We are the elect. So we have to learn these powers. We have no choice. You know, you've been gang for many, many years and nothing changed. So what, what are you, what are you, what are you going to lose by trying to learn about powers and, and following a, some crazy spirit? You have a crazy spirit, but I'm just saying you have nothing to lose. You've already lost everything. You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Just like me. So please look within and ask God, say, God, I want to hear the spirit. I want the Holy Spirit to speak to me. I want the Holy Spirit to guide me and to teach me about these mysterious powers that this girl is telling me about. When you hear the voice, respond to it. But be careful because these crazy perps out here, the military, they have um, this thing called voice to skull technology, V2K. And it's to put voices in your head as well. So you need to be able to differentiate the difference between the V2K and the actual voice of the spirit. Um, I will try to do some uh, videos on that as well, if I can. But please be encouraged, target individuals. I have seen the future. These people are going to get caught. And when they get caught, they're going to be outcasted. And so many bad things are going to happen to them. You don't even know. Be blessed. Stay strong. Learn to fight spiritually.